NASA's Perseverance rover is on Mars, carrying out a mission no other spacecraft has ever been capable of. It is looking for and collecting samples of soil and rock that might contain evidence that life, at least microbial life, perhaps once existed on the Red Planet. And if it's found, the singular question humankind has pondered for centuries, are we alone, will finally be answered. Franklin Chang Diaz and Leroy Chow are former NASA space shuttle astronauts. I just believe that it would be, uh, it would be extraordinary if we were the only ones. It would be um, incomprehensible to me. Just think about the, besides the scientific impact, just think about the sociological impact that we find life so close to us on a cosmic scale in our, our own cosmic backyard. Uh, and that kind of implies that there's life everywhere in the universe. Perseverance is searching in the Jezero Crater, which billions of years ago was a lake and river delta, a very good place to look for ancient life. But patience is required. It will be a decade before the samples get back to Earth, and there's no guarantee they contain the right stuff, so to speak. And many people believe we should already know the answer. Before he passed away, Apollo 15 Command Module Pilot Al Warden expressed to me his disappointment that humans had not already put their first boot prints on Mars. Where did you guys think we would be by now? Oh, John, I got to tell you, I think back in the day, before they canceled 18, 19, and 20, we were really on a roll. And I think we all thought we'd be on Mars by now. I really did. It's, it's a big leap, but my God, man, going to the moon was a big leap, too. We did that successfully. There's no reason we couldn't have built the program to go to Mars. Now, nearly half a century after the moon missions ended, NASA has ramped up its efforts to go back to the moon to study it. But perhaps more importantly, to use it to test the technologies needed to not only go to Mars, but to live there. How can they do that? power. You've got to have a power-rich environment to be able to do something, uh, create an atmosphere around Mars, that, around your, your habitat on Mars, um, you know, clean the air, uh, uh, recycle your waste, and grow the food that you need. But will it be NASA that actually gets to Mars first? Leroy Chow is not so sure. NASA, uh, unfortunately, is not the agency it used to be. Even during the shuttle era, it wasn't the, the, the agency that it was during the Apollo era, and now it's, you know, it's gone even further away. I think it's just a natural, unfortunate thing that these large organizations tend to get more bureaucratic and inefficient as they go on and get larger. Chow is betting on the rapidly growing commercial space industry. He believes SpaceX head man Elon Musk could get humans there in 10 to 15 years. Colonizing Mars is a lot different question than exploring Mars, and I know Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars. Uh, so that's a lot harder thing to do. I think, I think SpaceX will at least get humans to Mars. It's been said, perhaps more as a joke, that for the past 25 years, humans on Mars has been 25 years away. Maybe, just maybe, we are finally much closer than that. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.